What's up, Anchor and Addicts, or whatever you want to call yourself? Uh, yeah, so this is a, a an ad. I'm in the shower, but I just gotta say, I just made my first Anchor podcast. Um, it was about a half an hour long, and uh, Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. It was literally simple. I press a button, it turns on. Uh, Anchor gives you, you know, everything you need in one place. Uh, you can do it right from your phone, and, or, you know, if you have a laptop or a computer or tablet, that you could just do it from. Um, the tools, they allow you to record and, and edit your podcasts. So, of course, you know, you could add little snippets in there or, or uh, take out things that you didn't want in there. Um, but the good thing about it is they'll also distribute it for you. So you can, uh, so you can be heard anywhere you want to, like on Spotify or Google Podcasts, uh, po uh, Apple Podcasts. You can easily make money from your podcast, too. Uh, you know, and they, they tell you and walk you through all the steps. And the good thing is, you know, you can download it now. Download it now. Because I've heard this from Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. I've heard this app going out there a long time for about a year or two. Um, that it's just easy. It's easy to use. And I know this ad is long, but I don't care. Uh, but you could download it now on uh, go to Anchor dot fm to get started. It's a n c h o r dot fm to get started. Let me finish my shower, okay? What's up, everyone? Sorry, I'm cleaning the uh, phone a little bit. Lakers lost tonight. Um. My kid had a game, well, two games today, and I did not make it to the games because we thought the roads were going to be a little bit worse. And even though they weren't, of course, hindsight 2020. But all in all, I heard he enjoyed it. We split the games, but it's not that big of a deal. It's the experience. I think for everyone, it's not really a normal year. It kind of sucks, I think. Especially when there's no organized um, sports to account for. And, then, you know, that kind of hurts an athlete's future when they you have nothing to show for a whole year, you know. Um, but they're still young. we got next year and the year after. So, yeah. Yeah, I was upset about the win, or the loss with the Lakers tonight because uh, certainly I know we had it. And Crusoe, regardless of him making or missing it, I mean, it's just a couple of plays and calls that weren't even called, that should have been called. Uh, but then again, that's, that's back and forth. Um, but it is what it is. Can't uh, can't change it now. I think they're down to nine losses now on the year, which is not too bad. There are certainly other teams that have more losses already, but they do want to stay in the uh, playoff hunt and you know stay at least the top three or four or whatever in in the conference. So. I'm not sure if that's going to work out right now, but that's kind of all up to LeBron James and his body. And the dude's old guy, but when you take care of yourself every single day, uh, you see what happens. Even if you don't like the guy, even if you despise him, if you don't like the Lakers, I, I don't really care what your reasoning is, but look at him as uh, a freak of nature, but not it's it's a freak of preparation and and that's what it is and it's it's something you have to put your mind to 
for, well, for him, however long it's going to be, 20, 25 years. I, I hope it's longer. I don't really care, dude. Like, a basketball player could honestly still play, you know, even when they're 50 years old. Um, I mean, you, you look at Michael Jordan, he still had basketball camps after he retired. And, you know, he could still dunk. I mean, there's a lot of other NBA players that could still do that, too. So, and not just, you know, NBA, you got NFL, you got all the other sports. I mean, there's a lot of knowledge to give from older players, too. So, um, but yeah. Be of the games. My kid was in, I think. I'm not sure if they think they would have, should have won the first game. Wasn't there. But, um, my son did say that he, uh, crossed someone over and broke his ankles one of the star kids on the the other team but uh I was like oh, that's cool he's like that's my first I'm like, yeah I think when you're when you're uh younger at least from what I've seen when my kids are younger there's a lot of kids like always flying down the court you know because they can't stop so a lot of people get uh crossed up all the time but this one was legit. And then he looked at him and then passed the ball off. I don't know why he passed it. He could have shot it. I would have shot it. But we'll get there. We will get there. Um, I know football season's coming up. I don't know how long that's going to be. What's going to happen with that? I don't know if it's going to be the, the, the touch football like they did last year. But um, whatever it is, it's, it's something that's going to be exciting. Even if the rules aren't the greatest, um, or the team structure, or the the game structure, because I think last year they had a running clock the whole game, and they did the same thing um, throughout the whole season. I don't think anything changed with that, so kind of sucks. I, I like to see longer games, to be honest. But. I think the only good thing about, from what I've heard of schedules changing at work, was that if, you know, there is a football game and it is longer, at least I'll have time to show up to work uh, an extra hour at least. Because normally, I would never travel, like, farther than, I think, 30 miles or so to go watch a game because of having to go to work that night if I have to. Most time it is, you know, but, uh, oh, no, 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 it isn't, <sighs> but we'll see. I don't know what's going to change. Um, I have to look at my schedule too. I don't know if my day is off or changing. Probably should have looked at that, but it didn't change the last time I had my schedule change. So I did not get another uh, notification, but Hey, never know. But yeah, that is what's going on. All the other stuff that, uh, you know, I have plans for are still there. Uh, you got to believe that e even if life still happens, you can't, uh, you can't always make a deadline that's right away to uh, push yourself super fast because, you know, you still have a process to go through. And a lot of that is a thought process, the action, and then the reaction of the action because you got to go through and review. And, and uh, you know, I think um, the the last video that I actually edited, uh, <laughs> I, edit, I edited some of the, the audio out if you, if you didn't hear. Uh, and I shortened the, the whole thing down so much that I know I didn't do the greatest job, but I think for what I learned and what I put into motion, it shows the uh, the process, even if it is a small step, it shows that the process can, you know, lead to great things, even if it's not the greatest. Like, you know, you, you see a commercial on TV, those are well thought out and they take a, a lot of editing and, and all that stuff but if if you take i don't know 
three hours to edit, which that's probably how long it took for me to, to do that, actually, from start to finish, without interruptions and all the other stuff. But it takes you three hours to do it. I, I think, for me, that's a, a pretty damn good job. And uh, I'm only going to get better, or only going to get worse, or only going to stay the same, but I'm going to continue to do what I do on the projects that I, uh, I feel a little bit more passionate about editing so like these I don't edit they are pretty much live shot and then uploaded I don't have the option to reshoot 10 minutes um, when I'm only here for a certain amount of time in a parking lot uh, ready to go to work I'm staring at myself it's what you get but if you are looking for something look within yourself because you have all the answers. You just got to ask yourself the question and then you'll come up with the answer. If not, you have Google. I tell that to my kids all the time. You have Google. And that's been a thing ever since I was introduced to Google when I was young. Like, I know what it's there for. Well, it initially it was Ask Jeeves. Initially it was... Yahoo or, or or whatever it was at the time, but Google. Then you can find anything that you want. And uh, and it's not that you're not uh, bothering people if you ask someone a question, but you gotta think for yourself sometimes. Uh, and, and things like small little questions uh, really helps to get a really quick answer. Uh, I say that because I tell that to my kids a lot, so. And that has nothing to do with talking to kids like that. I just say it. Because I, I have to do it myself a lot, too. And that's how I learn. So can you. I gotta get going. Stretch. Peace out.